big issues today is uh, trillions of dollars that is needed uh, to address climate action. And of course, when you're talking about trillions, it's, it's, it's very easy to say, oh my God, that is such a big number, we're never going to make it. But remember, the global economy is in the order of hundreds of trillions of dollars. Right? We're about a $200 trillion economy, uh, perhaps even more uh, if you count assets under management. Now, the issue here is that um, we have to figure out ways, and we know uh, how to do it, uh, to unlock that trillion. And to unlock that trillion, you don't need trillions to unlock trillions. You actually need a fraction of that to essentially create enough of confidence in markets such that you know investors are able to crowd it. So even with a $10 million guarantee, you could be looking at unlocking around $150, $200 million of investment simply because you have that $10 million guarantee in place. So unlocking the trillions actually means making smart use of public money, but also the first tranche of, of private uh, investment that comes in because you have your baseline public investment in place that then makes it uh, conducive for others to come in. That together with the policy de-risking, the, the regulatory reforms uh, that need to be done, the capacities that need to be developed, um, that is the way in which we get to answering the trillion dollar question uh, that everybody here is talking about uh, to ensure that climate action happens at at a pace and scale that is material. Now, this is this is where you know a, a guarantee instrument would be incredibly powerful. In fact, in Zimbabwe, um, we have an initiative uh, supported by the UN Capital Development Fund, where we have provided uh, resources to a local bank, uh, and they have used those resources to set up a special purpose vehicle because our resources have been used as a first loss uh, guarantee, and that has attracted more than five times that amount uh, from pension funds. And that money that has now been crowded in by pension funds is being used to seed uh, renewable energy companies in Zimbabwe who are providing power, clean power, clean energy to uh, smallholder farmers. So these sorts of examples are, are indicative that you know the impossible can be done. We just have to be very smart and clever in terms of where we deploy very scarce public uh, investment to catalyze and trigger the larger amounts of private finance that is available and that indeed is also looking uh, for SDG uh, compliant investment opportunities around the world.